Welcome to week 12, the conclusion of our English Bible study on Galatians. Paul ends his letter to the Galatians with one last comparison between the legalists who are pushing for circumcision and his own apostolic ministry. You may notice that there are some parallels to the beginnings of the book of Galatians when Paul first introduced his letter. He says that the legalists, in the end, ultimately do not have the good of the Galatians at heart, but rather want to be able to boast about their own accomplishments. He pleads one last time with the Galatians to remember the relationship they have with the Apostle and reminds them again of their personal care for him in his affliction and the pain that his eyes caused him. He says that he writes with large letters, that they should recognize his own handwriting. Then Paul says that he bears on his body a more important kind of mark than the mark of circumcision. He says he bears on his body the marks of Jesus. Paul has suffered because of the cross of Jesus. He is a living testimony to the power of the gospel, a power that even through a painful illness, through beatings and suffering, shines out with the hope and glory of Christ. See, the true badge of honor for the Christian is not the works that they have done in completion of the law, but the suffering that many have endured for the sake of the gospel. What we celebrate as a church of Christ can only be that which points to Christ. These marks of Christ are what we call the marks of the true church. They are the evidence of the gospel of the cross of Jesus. And they are all about telling people the good news that death is defeated, that sin is forgiven, and that there is eternal life in Jesus for free. The true church brings Jesus to people presents him to them before their very eyes as crucified. These, not circumcision or special days and laws, are the true marks of the true church. And even this is not something we can achieve through our efforts. We are a new creation. The church is not something that comes from us, but that God has done in us. We are made by his hand, and, and his fingerprints are on us. We are free because he has made us free. We live in gratitude by grace because it is his grace. We work because it is him working in us. So Paul says all who walk by this rule, by which he means the new design of things, the order of the church, will be blessed. They receive the traditional blessing in the phrase, grace and mercy be upon them. They are, as Paul says here, the Israel of God. See, the true Israelites are those who are made so, not by circumcision of the flesh or obedience to the law, but by the work and creation of God in baptism. The knife that marks an Israelite boy at eight days old is, is ultimately nothing. The marks that truly count are the nails that marked the hands and feet of Jesus and the thorns that pierced his brow. The mark that matters is, is the sign of the cross over your forehead and your heart that was made when you were baptized in the waters of eternal life. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, in whose name we end our lessons on Galatians. Amen.